Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I just got the iPhone 10. So I have been needing a new phone for quite a while because as you may or may not know, I am still on an iPhone 5. So originally I was just going to get the iPhone 8, but then I was like, you know what, I'll save up a couple extra dollars and just get the 8 Plus. And then I started to realize that if I got the iPhone 8 or 8 Plus, even though it is the newest iPhone, I would still feel like it's outdated because of the iPhone 10. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to get a job and I'm going to get this $1,000 phone, which is insane. But yeah, now that it's finally actually here in my hands, it is like, it's beautiful. Okay. So um, this is actually not the first time I have unboxed this. I actually got the phone yesterday and I was going to do like a first like initial unboxing but then my dad was like, no, open it down here. So I was like, whatever, I'll just repackage it and do a re-unboxing. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and open this thing up for the second time. I even put back on the plastic wrap. As you can see, I didn't do a very good job though. So, let me get the focus. Alright, so I'm going to just take that off. And here we go, the iPhone 10. We have got the Designed by Apple in California packet, first of all, with our Hello Quick Start Guide. Let's see what is in here. And then next of all, we've got the iPhone information stuff right there. And we have our Apple stickers, of course. So now let's get back to the phone. As you can see, I even put back on the plastic there, and it looks horrible. So let's take that off. Um, I'm going to try not to be one of those YouTubers who like holds the box up and then the phone falls out like that. what that looks like. Let's take it out and unpeel this. It is beautiful. And that, my friends, is what a thousand dollar phone looks like. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, let's quickly go over what else is in here. We've got our brick right there, which, let's just remove this standard brick. And then, oh, hold on. we've got our ear pods with lightning connector, you can see. There, let's take these out. Alright. Right. So there are those. Oh man, my camera battery's dying. Anyways, finally we have the little dongle, because there is still no headphone jack. So oh, and also the lightning cable. So I'm gonna undo this. And there is our charging cable. So yeah, that is the unboxing. Now let's get to the phone. So let's first of all power it on 
Not for the first time, of course. So there you go. Is it in focus? I don't know. Okay. iPhone 10. And here we are. So it is absolutely beautiful. You can see the screen. It wraps all the way around. Hold on, I'm just putting in my passcode. So there it is. Absolutely stunning. So going from the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 10 is just like, like, it is amazing what a difference five years makes. Like this thing feels absolutely tiny in comparison. And the crazy thing is that the iPhone 10 is actually thicker than the iPhone 5, but only by like a tenth of a millimeter. It feels thinner though. So yeah. Um, I did pick up a couple of cases. Both are clear. Um, this one is super cheap and crappy and it literally costed $4. Um, but we just ordered it just in case this one didn't arrive on time. So this one is actually nice. It's um, sturdy. Yeah, this is absolute crap. So yeah, I'll probably be using this one. Which is like a Spigen case. It was $25 I think. So yeah, let me put this in. So I'm a huge fan of clear cases because we have these beautiful $1,000 phones that we want to show off, but also we have to protect them, so clear case solves both those problems. So that is the iPhone 10, and now let's talk about some of the features and new things in it. Yes. So I have already updated it to iOS 11.2. I think it came with like 11.1.1 or something. So yeah, um, one of the new things in 11.2 is that it came with a couple of extra wallpapers in the live section. So these three on the top, um, they were there um, ever since the beginning, but they're exclusive to the iPhone 10. So take a look at those. Oh, and they're also animated, of course. And there's that one. And then these three really cool glitter ones came with the 11.2 update. So, yeah, those are super cool. We got blue. And this is the one I've been using, which is super awesome. So, yeah. And you will also see um, these ones have been there ever since the beginning as well, but the dynamic ones have been updated. So if I go ahead, you can see they have changed quite a bit. So they now have a black background and there's some different colors. And we've also got this rainbow one, which I've been using for my home screen wallpaper. So yeah, and these are also exclusive to the iPhone 10, of course. And there is also actually one exclusive ringtone, so let's take a look at that. It's called Reflection, right here. I don't know if you can hear that ringtone. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty neat. It's kind of short, I don't know why. Um, anyways, um, that's the exclusive ringtones and wallpapers. So talking about more iPhone 10 exclusive features, we have Tap to Wake. So this one's really useful, I've been using it a lot. And of course you still have Raise to Wake, and you can of course just press the button. So yeah, tap to wake. Um, they probably did this because there's no longer a home button on the iPhone 10, and that also means there's no more 
Touch ID fingerprint scanner. So we now, of course, have Face ID, and let me just tell you, Face ID has been working flawlessly, and I am really enjoying it. So yeah, that is good. So a few things different about the lock screen is that we now have this little lock at the top that shows us if it's unlocked or not. So you have to use Face ID to unlock it. We also have these little buttons at the bottom for flashlight and camera, and you have to 3D touch on them to activate. So yeah. Um, and also the control center, instead of being bottom swipe up, is now top right swipe down. Um, because swiping up will take you back to the home screen. And then if you swipe up and hold, you get to your app switcher. And then to close the apps, you actually have to tap down on the app. And then you can either hit this minus button or just swipe up like before. To use Siri, since there's no home button, you just tap and hold the side button here. And there's Siri. And then to take a screenshot, you push the side button and the volume up button at the same time. And then if you want to power off your device, then you press and hold the side button and either of the power buttons. And you can see your boot down screen there. And what else? The screen is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I've also been using the True Tone display thing, which is pretty cool. Um, the camera on this thing is insane. Like, it's incredibly good. And I've just been loving the iPhone at 10. So, um, what else? Um, it's pretty, it's a pretty snazzy phone. If I do say so myself, um, I've been absolutely loving my experience with it. And if you have the money, I would highly, highly, highly recommend this phone. It has changed my life in less than 24 hours. So, yeah, that is the iPhone 10. Um, I will be sure to do a what's on my iPhone 10 probably around the end of December. So let's just say December 30th, I will have what's on my iPhone 10 as I'm still getting settled into it at the moment. So yeah, that is the iPhone 10. I've probably said iPhone 10 like 10 billion times in this video, but yeah. Thank you guys all so much for watching, enjoy your iPhone 10s, and peace.